Our company is Biotoxins Venom Laboratories. We uh, produce snake venoms and supply uh, whole snake venoms and snake venom products to people that do physiology research, uh, people that purify components that are used uh, directly in medicine, and also people that make antivenoms. We produce about 38 different uh, venom species types and uh, purify about a dozen different uh, components. We just recommend one general rule, don't pick the snake up. If you see a snake, leave it alone. Uh, if you're in a situation where the snake presents a threat in your home or you feel that a pet or your children are in danger, then you want to call someone to help you out, like the Central Florida Herpetological Society. Uh, you might call us if you're in our vicinity and we can, we can help you with the situation. Well, the only medical treatment for snake bite is antivenom. Uh, there are some first aid measures uh, that can be of some benefit, but normally if you're in a situation here in Florida where you can get to a hospital in less than an hour and start antivenom therapy, that should be your main objective. Stay calm and uh, get to a medical facility and get a competent doctor who's uh, familiar with snake bite treatment to administer prompt and sufficient antivenom. That is the main thing that you want to have in your mind uh, should you be involved in a snake bite. Antivenom is produced by taking venom uh, and using it to build up antibody in an animal. Uh, most companies still use horses, but by injecting venom into an animal, uh, starting with a very minute dose and over a period of several months uh, and incre gradually increasing the dose as the animal builds up very resistant, starts producing antibody and the antibody is stored in the blood serum. And it is that blood serum which is uh, taken and processed for antivenom. That's what you would receive if you went into the uh, hospital with a snake bite. Uh, you're getting that antibody which was produced by the animal in order to uh, lock up and, and eliminate those venom toxins. And they do the same thing for you that they did for the animal. Once they're in your circulatory system, they will bind to the venom toxins and let your your body remove those toxins. The king cobra bite, which was back in 1995, and we hadn't had an accident in 10 years. But, of course, we're ready. We keep antivenoms here for everything that we work with, and uh, we were getting ready to collect venom. It was, uh, as I recall, about 11.30 in the morning, and we were going through the snakes, trying to get all the snakes caught up, you know, feeding and watering. We had, I think, two king cobras to go, and on the next to the last one, we, uh, the snake came out of the box, and in a feeding response, got, you know, grabbed my left arm, and uh, we had a real, uh, real bad uh, bite. We got into the um, St. Cloud emergency room as quickly as possible, and uh, my assistant, Bonnie Watkins, she presented the uh, attending physician with the uh, antivenom, which in that case, we always started with tiger snake because it was the best one for neutralizing uh, the King Cobra neurotoxin. And uh, we ran into some problems with, you know, uh, the physician was not really experienced uh, in treating snake bite. He was not familiar with the tiger snake antivenom. And so we had a lot of things happen, but uh, eventually, uh, you know, we, you know, antivenom was administered and over a period of time things worked out.